The first generation of sod webworm generally emerges in mid-May to early June. The sod webworm actually overwinters as a nearly mature caterpillar. The adults will come out in mid-April, early May. They'll start laying eggs and 10 days after eggs are laid, the eggs hatch and then you will have small caterpillars. So that's typically the end of May, mid-May to early June. You can control the first generation of sod webworm like you would with really any other generation of sod webworms and caterpillars in general. You're probably gonna be using a synthetic pyrethroid, something like bifenthrin or lambda cyhalothrin would be two good options. We get the question a lot, do you need to control the first generation of sod webworm? Typically that generation comes out when our grass is growing fast, it's healthy, and it tends to grow out of any damage. We don't notice that damage. Most of the damage from sod webworm comes from that generation that occurs in August, that second generation. You can control it to try to prevent more damage coming in, but I can't ever promise that, hey, if you treat that first generation with that synthetic pyrethroid, that you won't have more moss flying in and more caterpillars showing up since the moss can fly. So I'd say that's kind of up to you on whether you want to spend the money early or whether you want to really target that generation that's going to do most of the damage.